Welcome to another flight report. Today we're doing something a little bit different. We'll be flying on a seaplane from Vancouver to Vancouver Island just across the harbour. The aircraft that was being used today was a Cessna Grand Caravan. Passengers had to first wait at the terminal and when boarding of the aircraft is ready, the staff would lead us to the aircraft. All bags, whether large or small, will be required to be stored at the back of the aircraft. This aircraft has a seat configuration of 1 1, so every seat is a window seat. And now let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the flight out of Vancouver Harbour. After takeoff, we made a left turn towards North Vancouver, then flying parallel to Stanley Park, and finally flying in southwesterly direction towards Nanaimo. The skyline of downtown Vancouver is clearly visible from above. It was fortunate that the weather turned sunny during our flight. While we're heading towards our destination, let me give you a brief introduction of this airline. Harbour Air is one of the largest seaplane airlines in North America. It connects different destinations within British Columbia, which are not well served by other major airlines. Apart from flying on scheduled routes, it also provides touring services, as well as private charters. Two of the destinations that are served by Harbour Air, Nanaimo and Victoria, face competition from three other airlines, WestJet and Air Canada. But given that airfares for Harbour Air is a lot cheaper, I'll definitely go for Harbour Air. Since airfares don't normally go about $200, while Air Canada and WestJet usually have prices about $200. The flight lasted for about 20 minutes and we were cruising at an altitude of 500 feet. We don't really need in-flight Wi-Fi because the altitude is low enough to receive internet connection. And this is the exciting approach into Nanaimo Harbour Airport.
notice how the plane tilted upwards after we slowed down in the water. After everyone had disembarked from the plane, we had to wait for the luggage. And that also concludes the first part of the journey. On a journey back to Vancouver, I had a little bit of extra time to explore the lounge. The lounge is complimentary for every passenger. And for the time being, only coffee or tea is being served. The return flight was a little bit bumpier than the inbound flight and it was actually my first time feeling unwell because of the turbulence. And here's a side-by-side -side view of this particular approach in the Vancouver Harbour. This is the end of this flight experience video. I hope you've enjoyed this video and stay tuned for more exciting flight reviews.